Hi everybody, welcome, and thanks for watching. Liberal Arts Math at Coastline College has a writing and research component. We provide links to these three videos and math-related websites. Students pick one to write a paper on. I used to have everyone email their report to me, but the quality wasn't consistent. Then I read all the research about peer review, and to improve academic quality, I decided to implement it. Sure enough, the quality of students' work improved immediately. It was amazing. I guess if students know their work is going to be read and commented on by their peers, in educational psychology that's known as an authentic audience, then they strive much harder to demonstrate their talent, creativity, and academic ability. The software we've chosen for the project is an app from Zoho. It's a great example of cloud computing. They have collaboration, business, and productivity apps, all with a free version. Zoho Docs is an online word processor that lets you access your documents from any computer, anytime. The most recent version is always there waiting for you. You can work online or offline, too. You can share documents and also collaborate in real time. And there's even a mobile app so you can do your work on the go. In Math 100, we don't really need it, but there's also a pop-up LaTeX equation editor. How cool is that? Anyway, go to zoho.com slash docs and sign up or sign in. Zoho has opted for a familiar look, with most of their products inspired by Microsoft Office. And that's one of the reasons I like it. There's a rich feature set for online word processing. Let's go live and take a look at some of the features, shall we? Okay, I've got a little text here waiting for me. And uh, by the way, I strongly recommend that you create your report in Zoho Docs from scratch. Do not create it in another program and then try and copy and paste it. As many of you probably know from experience, in the computer world, when you do that, files and formatting are often lost. All right, so let's say I want to increase the font size of my title. Maybe bold it, center it. And let's see, I want the first line to be another color. Let's say a nice red. And then maybe the next line's another color, say a blue color. That looks good. And you can also use a variety of fonts. I've got Arial by default, but uh, some other fonts that I see students use are Verdana. I also see, st see students use the comic book font. That's a pretty popular one. And there's the classic Times New Roman. You get the idea. Uh, how about inserting a picture right here? It's required, by the way, to have pictures to earn the full 50 points for your report. So I'll click on the Insert tab and insert an image. And I'll browse my computer. And maybe I'll pick this one of my two daughters. Whoa, slightly big, isn't it? Let's make it smaller. And smaller. And smaller still. And you can position it around your text in a variety of formats. All right, how about a web link? Let's say at this point right here, I would like to send students to the Coastline College homepage. And now we have to type the URL and have it open up in a new window, that's great. And so now when students click on that hyperlink, they'll be taken to the Coastline College homepage. And I guess the only other thing that might be useful for you is a horizontal line. There, I, I, that's about it. 
I can't think of anything else you might need. Now that we've finished our report, we need to click on File and Save As. And I'll give it a cool name. How about cool name? There it is. And you can see the untitled document has been changed to its new title, and now it's saved. Now we want to make it available for others in the class to read and comment on. So click on Share, Publish, to External World, and Publish. This will allow everyone in the class to access and read your report. If you don't do this, you can read your report, but no one else can. So there's your URL. I don't know why they make it so long. It could be because every time you or someone else edits the file, a new address is created. Anyway, let's copy the, the, uh, let's copy the link. Click on Select URL, and you can see the link is highlighted. So hit Control-C to copy it into the clipboard, and then you can hit Control-V to paste it into your message on the discussion board. Make sure you have the Allow Others to Comment box checked. And now it's ready to be pasted into the discussion board. When students click on it, your report will open up. It'll look like this. There. Everyone is required to read and comment on at least three other students' reports. You can either do it online, on the discussion board, or at the bottom of your report. There it is. Let's type in a comment now, shall we? Your name or email address is required. And here's the message. And click on Submit. And ta-da, it's done. Now you can see there's one comment for this report. Every time someone comments online, the author receives an email. I love the way this program works. So that's about it. If you have any questions or need further help, please post a message at your course website on the discussion board. I, or your instructor, or another student will reply right away. All right, good luck and have fun with your report. Thanks for watching.